I'm here with Kenneth B. King at his Smart Tailoring video shoot, and we're going to look inside of his fabulous toolkit. Hello. Kenneth, I've been waiting through this whole video to see what's inside of this. Well, this, this is what I call my traveling toolkit, and as you can see, I have my label attached to it because one time I was at FIT and one of my students was giving it the glad eye and I decided I should put my name on it. This particular tool kit is a cosmetics bag. It's one of those traveling cosmetics bags that you buy at some of the department stores. It holds quite a bit. So I'm going to give you a guided tour. Right here, this holds my pin cushion and personally I adore the pin cushion with the lid and my safety pins. Below is a long skinny compartment where I believe you store your toothbrush, but I store an extra pair of glasses because I'm always mislaying them and all of my collection of crochet hooks because you just never know when you're going to need a crochet hook. Another thing I keep in here is an emery board or two because again, you just never know. When I teach at FIT, my students ask me, what don't you have in this kit? And I say, the Lindbergh baby, and then they give me that blank look because I'm old. Inside, ta-da, I call it the 007 tool kit because I'll unzip it and I'll let it just open up like so. On this side here, you can see I have diagonal cutters and a pair of flat jaw needle nose pliers and round point needle nose pliers because there are times you just need pliers to either pull needles through or these two here I use when I'm shortening a zipper because I like to use metal zippers and it's much easier to shorten them. Now a little tip about metal zippers. I like putting metal zippers in garments for one reason if for no other reason. If you get them in backwards what you do is you take your diagonal cutter and you open up the little U-shaped stops on the top of the zipper and you zip the slide up, you turn it around and you put it back down on the zipper and you put the two stops back on, you've turned the zipper the right way. Well, I've never heard that. Yes. My students, Fabulous. when I, sh I show that to students, they somehow just think I'm brilliant when I do that. Well, they're right. Because I'm lazy, quite frankly. Also, this is a silk organza pressing cloth because you always have to have a pressing cloth no matter where you are. And silk organza is thin and it doesn't take up much space. A little teeny tiny crescent wrench because you never know. And little, little rulers because you always have to measure. As you can see, this little cosmetic bag is really, really, really useful because you can put all of these things in and they don't take much space. This is one of the little, this is a little teeny tiny latch hook for pulling snags and pulling threads through to the back. Oh, Isn't that spiffy? It's wonderful. Yeah, they, they even make them smaller. I haven't been able to find any, but. Uh, Where did you find this one? You know, I can't even remember. I just, I remember it just kind of appearing in my toolkit one day. Oh, -ho. that happens. It's wonderful. This is an eyelet puncher. And again, sterling handle because if you have sewing tools, they should be pretty. And a point turner with my name on it because at FIT, if your name is not on it, you lose it. This is the bamboo point turner. And I like the bamboo point turner rather than the plastic one because you can actually use this as a point presser if you don't have a point presser. Next to it is the sterling handled seam ripper. You notice that sterling handle is a theme and this is a little tip if you have sterling handled knives the sterling handle is generally hollow so what I've done in the past and it's very easy to do is to pull the business end out of the handle and you can pour epoxy into the empty handle and set in your seam ripper your tracing wheel or your screwdriver there's something about sterling handles that I just adore. 
Well, they make your tools special. Absolutely. And they're fun to use. Yes. 